This is the 10th part in a series intended to teach you how to use the resources of the Family Search Research Wiki to learn how to find genealogical records for your ancestors who lived in Germany. This lesson will show you some resources for learning how to read original German records. This will involve both learning a little bit of German vocabulary and learning how to read a new style of handwriting called Gothic script or Korrent. Don't be scared. You don't have to be fluent in German. You only need to learn a few words to read genealogical records. Although you might be startled when you first see the handwriting, you'll see that a lot of the letters are very similar to how you write anyway. Furthermore, you learned one alphabet when you were very, very young. You can learn another alphabet today. Take a look at this chart of the letters and notice how many are identical or very similar. Here is the Germany genealogy main page. Over here under Germany research tools, you will find two sets of lessons on how to read old German handwriting. You should go through both courses. I would do lesson one from each course together, which cover the alphabet. Then do the Lesson 2s together, which cover words, and finally do the Lesson 3s together, which will get you into actually reading some documents. Here are the links to the Old German Script lessons, and I will print the links in the notes below this lesson. I suggest that you download the video and watch it on a full screen, rather than this tiny screen that shows here. Dr. Yunling points out tiny differences in letters, and a larger screen will help you to see those. In Barbara Bell's lessons, then you will not see a screen up here. You click on View Course Content. These handouts are excellent. You should print them all off and keep them for reference. What I like about them is they give you the German word and the English equivalent, but they also give you the word written in current script or old German script so you can see what it's actually going to look like in the record. Back on the German genealogy main page, you will see this link to the German genealogical word list. There are two parts of this I want to point out. One is keywords. Maybe 80% of what you read in German records will be just these words. So as you can see, you don't have to master the whole German language. Beyond these words, where you will see the variation, will be things like occupations and cause of death. For those types of things, there is a general word list which functions like a dictionary. So as you come across those words in what you're reading, you can look them up in this mini dictionary that just covers phrases that would be used in genealogy records. Once you get the basics of the alphabet and reading specific words and the vocabulary down, you're ready to start actually reading some church and civil records. The next course you need to watch is by Dr. Jungling. He will spend a whole hour teaching you how to simplify the reading of these records by knowing which chunks of the records you actually have to pay attention to. He teaches you how to filter out parts you can ignore and focus on the parts that are really going to help with genealogy. You'll find that using this method really increases your confidence in your ability to read these records. The link for this class will be in the notes below this video. The link to the class is also found on the Germany Genealogy main page under Germany Research Tools. Instead of using this tiny format at the top, download the video so that it shows on your full screen. You'll be able to see the records much easier that way. Now you try it. Watch the available courses on German handwriting. There are two sets. Watch the webinar class, German Church and Civil Records and learn Dr. Yunling's strategies for simplifying the reading of records through filter and focus. Print the excellent word list handouts 
in Barbara Bell's Current Letters course? Begin memorizing the short German keywords list and the German names of the months. As you learn them, practice writing them in German script.